I've had to have a feeling that this video is just going to be a mess. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning and happy January 27th. Big day today for me. For me, it's not really that maybe. Maybe it's not that big of a deal, but it's a big deal for me because today is the first day that we are trying to clear out the space to get ready for our opening in June. Again, I'm not going to say the exact date yet. I know when it is, but I'm not going to say the exact date yet, just in case, you know, just in case. We're going to organize the shop. So when we get to the shop, I'll show you what we're going to do. Mark is already there. Um, I've been piling up recycling and he is going to take the recycling to the recycling place. Uh, and again, I've told you before that Mark and I will bicker and Emma is coming. She's on her way down to help today and she is her father's daughter. So they'll, they'll both be bickering with me because they are like, they're twins. They're twins. I love them both. Love, lay down my life for both of them, but, but they they can gang up on me a little bit. I, they can. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm excited and optimistic and I, I'm already feeling very overwhelmed and anxious because I don't tend to get rid of things necessarily. When I'm not, I don't like hold sentimental, I'm not very sentimental on objects, which is weird doing what I do. I mean, I like the history behind something, but at, at home, I will just get rid of something. Do you know what I mean? For some reason, at the shop, I, I don't get rid of things. So it's just, and quite honestly, Mark and I were having this conversation yesterday because he was like, it's a mess underneath this counter. And I'm like, I know, I don't have time to just say, I'm going to sit down here and clean underneath this counter. I just don't. I get to the shop. I'm, I've got 15,000 things that I have to do. And then it's time to leave. Because I do like to come home and cook dinner and be with my family. Which is why I don't very rarely will do things in the evening. I don't have sales at night. I know that a lot of you can't come to the live sales that I do during the night. But that is my precious time with my family. And I'm not going to, I'm not, I, that's just the way my business model is. I like to have my evenings with my family. And, you know, my kids are grown and out of the house, but my family is my husband um, and my dad. He doesn't really come out of his room much, but we invite him to, but he just, sorry, you're flopping around there. He just likes being in his own little space. Anyway, well, I'm going to go because you're flopping around here, but I'm going to go to Starbucks, get a little bit of liquid courage and motivation and, um, we're going to tackle this day. So this is going to be day one of the series of Misty's getting her together. Welcome. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay. I just got to the shop. Got my coffee. Mark is here fighting with styrofoam things. Um, I'm going to pull my eBay orders and get those ready. Um, but I'll show you what sold for me over the weekend. I'm going to go to the post office and then I, we got we to gotta come back here. We got to come back here. So, and I'll do a little bit of a, I'll show you around a little bit. All right. I sold Garfield. Oh, I sold this. I've had this for a while. This is a shade that I believe go hangs over like a bed for like a, you know, like a reading lamp over a bed. So that has sold on eBay. The shirt tails, shirt tails color forms sold on eBay. Where are you at Gar? Not you Garfield. Garfield, oh, you're hiding behind the other Garfield. I resent that he says. He sold as well. And then I've got to find it because I've had this for a long time. And it's one of those things that is kind of probably in a random thing. So it's very small. So let me find it and I'll show it to you. 
And here it is, this little hotel soap from the Harrison Hotel in downtown Chicago. This was in, I don't even remember where I got, I bought a bunch of these, but I thought that they were, I just wanted to try them. They, that's the last one I had. They took a while to sell. Some of them sold rather quickly, but this was the last one. So I'll get these things ready. Mark had, an, it, he still cleaned up his experience with the styrofoam boat and packing peanuts. So I know y'all are some hardcore packing peanut people, but that's what's not cool about it is the mess that it leaves in its wake. Paper's just fine. All right, I'm gonna um, get these things shipped and then we're gonna, then we're gonna, well, then I'm gonna go to the post office and then we'll give you an overview of what the plan is. Okay, I just got back from the post office, dropped off all of the packages, but okay, so Mark, what's the game plan? Well, let me show you. Mark has, he's gotten the recycling taken out and we had a bunch of Halloween because I bought, uh, if, you're not, if you're not you new to my channel, you know I bought an entire box truck of Halloween things. I've already made my money back when I spent, but I still got a lot left. But we put it here, but we need these shelves so I can start going through the things up there before we box them away. And then... We need to organize, Mark started, started it, but we need to organize back here a little bit so we can stack up boxes here, maybe some over there. But you can see Mark has moved some of the Halloween stuff. All, all the Halloween's here. So when it's Halloween time, we're ready. This is all things that are going in auction. That's going in auction. All of these, we're gonna condense it a little bit. Just to basically to make this the, an auction storing room. That way when the auction says, yeah, we can get you in, we're like, okay, take it all. Take it all. Mark, do you have any words of advice for, for yourself? I'm wordless right now. <laughs> I, wanna so, get, I wanna get started. Yeah, so. What I figured, you know, since I'm doing these vlogs, so this is going to be like a series of, of videos. I will, throughout this series, will pop in some pictures of what, when, when this place was opened, when our brick and mortar was opened, we utilized all of this space, except for that back room that we were just in. So all this was our, it wasn't an antique mall, Everything in it we owned. 2,500 square feet of all our stuff. Now, the, what the plan is, um, what, what we used to do, we used to have, see where that Barber's Dairy sign is? Our counter, our checkout counter, used to be facing this way. So our backs were against the wall, and then the counter was kind of, I guess, in the middle of the shop. And then we moved it over just to make it more conducive to what I needed to use it for because I'm using the counter as my shipping station. But I have lots of different, <laughs> I have lots of different areas that make it a little more complicated. So we're going, and I'll explain that in a minute, but we're going to keep the counter there. Um, and then we're going to have some sort of a barrier. So basically the shop is going to end at here. Here, this clothes rack. It's going to end there. Nobody can go past that. All right. So all of this will be retail space. Um, and what I'm planning on doing is setting a, setting it up somewhat in like an antique booth stalls. Because what my plan is, like I said in yesterday's video, it's a collaborative. So I will be inviting at every pop-up, I'll be inviting vendors. They could be YouTube vendors that you all know. It could be a YouTube up, up and coming person, um, but I'm going to be doing the contacting. Like I said, please don't contact me. I, I will get way overwhelmed. I need to do this it, the way that my brain can process everything. So I'm gonna be emailing and, and talking to people and also, um, because it's just gonna be a one day thing. So it's every every pop up will be just one day, one day. But there will be multiple different vendors in here for that one day, kind of like a market. Uh, but they'll have pieces of furniture and things like that that they can 
um, utilize. They can bring in their own things too, but we're going to try to compartmentalize it into little booth booth spaces and the way we're going to have to do that is with furniture. That's at least the game plan at this juncture. That could completely change because I know the way that my brain works. Uh, so it will be a different markets every every pop-up and every time it'll be different. So that's that's kind of what I'm looking at. And then I'm also going to set up where I'm going to have my space, where my space will, if I decide that I want to open up one day, I can open up one day and that, that sort of thing. So I will have things in here to where if I, on a whim, want to open up, I can do that. But then a lot of the, it might look a little different because it'll be kind of empty because I'll be waiting for the next pop-up. So that's the plan. But like I said, everything's coming off of the walls. Um, and... But the, the goal right now is just get all of this cleared out. I want a blank canvas so we can move furniture around and get a little bit better of an idea of how exactly we're going to do this. And as I've showed you before, the windows are full of stuff, but I'm not worrying about the windows right now because they're not in my way. This stuff, this stuff is in the way. So boxing up things that we're taking to auction, boxing up or putting things that I'm going to reincorporate in um, when the retail space is open, I'm going to load up those shelves back there, but there, there's different caveat. It's like right here is the mirror that I do all my try-ons. This is where I sit down and open up friend mail and do unboxings. So this is a filming area right here. Uh, I also have a filming area here. You can see there's the lights. I've got my camera. That's the background. That's where I do my live sales. And then I have another filming area here. And this is where I do my virtual antique marketplace live sales. And honestly, this is where I sit and list things for eBay as well. So it's kind of like an eBay live sale station. So I've got lots of different stations. Very, I am very blessed to be able to have this space, but I don't need to be stretched out all through. I need to do something that's gonna make a little bit more sense in the space. And if we wanna have a game night here, we'll have a somewhat clear area that we can, you know, have a little bit of a game night, that sort of thing. Also, I got my Bucky Valentine shirt on. I miss you, Bucky. All right, I need to get off the camera. I'm gonna set up the tripod at somewhere. So you might see as we're working, I'll add some music, some entertaining music to a thing. But if there's something that I feel that we need to pop in, we'll pop in, but join us on this adventure Right, Mark? Mm -hmm. Of reopening and reorganizing our space. What are you thinking? What do you need? Your help. Okay, I'm gonna go help. Tell me what you're, okay, so what, what's the plan? What do you want me to do right now? We talked about it yesterday. Yeah. Of you going through your shelves, getting the stuff that you wanna put in the shop that you don't necessarily wanna sell. Okay. And putting them on that front shelf. Right, right. Okay, so that makes that makes sense. That's why he cleared off that shelf so I can start going through like inventory that doesn't excite me. And then you can condense the stuff that is sellable on your live sales. And stuff. Right. Okay. Okay. So. What is this stuff? Well, that's what I'm saying. Do you want me to go through this stuff right here first? All this stuff on top. Yeah. Is it listed or not listed? No, none of this is, is listed. None of this is listed. But is it going to be? Yes. Well, I don't know. I don't even know if these are even worth anything. We can worry about that later. So I'll put them in the. Is this. Where am I putting the eBay needs to be listed stuff? I guess in this container. Is this listed? I think so. Okay. That's a cool mid century modern light fixture. Actually, it's a candle holder. Okay, this is like when, you cl when you're cleaning out your room and you find all your cool stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. These are like, I think these are vintage. I, I like that one. I'm going to take that one home. That's Rugrats, Mark. Okay. Rugrats. Okay, I don't think that's not anything. Those are new. Some of these things, like these are like, so what is this? Probably donate. Or auction. 
That's the new word for donate is put it in the auction, the auction stuff. I don't know, you guys. Is, any, is there any interest in Boyd's Bears pins? Dad got some. I don't know. I actually sold these. So I'm going to put these on. My Misty's going to sell these. What this, what this was? That's eBay, but I'm going to... Well, I mean, this would be eBay too, but... Hey, there's a... I don't know who that is. He played for the Cincinnati Reds, apparently. That thing said. That Chris Sebo. Who? Chris Sebo. Chris Sebo! Sebo. Oh, you know what? These bags? Okay. So this, that... I'm going to throw it down there and see if other purses. Because I need to have a purse sale. You must you know, ladies. Maybe we'll just go through this through the new box. Yeah. Why? This is like, I haven't seen this stuff in years. That's a Louis Vuitton. Uh, no, it's a coach. Coach bag. Is this just one shoe? I like these. Is the other one in there? Where's the other shoe? Oh, there it is. I'm keeping those. Uggs are back in style. Yay. Those were mine. I was going to sell them because they were not in style anymore. Waited long enough. I've waited long enough. Oh, what a night. That needs to go with my car. Why? For when I go to the grocery store. Oh, what a night. I thought that was another kind of red hat, but it's not. No, we don't sell those red hats. Sometimes you feel like you move a lot faster if I'm not over here. Oh, definitely. <laughs> what is this box? a bunch of grapes down there. Look at that. Does anybody need some glass grapes? Because that apparently I have a whole bucket full. I didn't buy these. Dad bought these. Glass grapes. Is that your stocking that you need? <gasps> yes. Those are my mom. We need to keep those. Those are my mom's stockings. Those are all from my mom's. Remember she sent, she mailed them to us. She mailed us all our stockings. Well, why do we have them in the email Because I forgot to send them back. That was Jaden's. Really? How can you tell? Oh, God, it's God, isn't it? Ooh, these all need to be, you know what? I don't know if I have, I might have these listed on eBay. That's because of this. This hardware. Bum, that's Emma's. Really? Yeah. That's her stocking. Here. Oh Lord, boy, there is there are some things in this bin right here, guys, that have been go to recycling. Let me show you things in this bin that that have been I have had since I started reselling about six years ago. There are these were Mark Stock Martins. I got a wool blanket, a graphic design book. Oh look, there's Kenny Rogers, Mark. There's some autograph, and I don't know, if that's not, that's not his actual autograph though, I bet. What's this? Oh, there's your, uh, backup camera. I mean, there's probably, that's the thing that's crazy. The thing that's so crazy about this is that there are, there's probably a couple hundred dollars at least in that bin. Maybe more. And it's just been sitting there for six years. What is wrong with us? That. I'm like not mad at this. Isn't that grandpa chic? Isn't grandpa chic in right now? I can't get these buttons unbuttoned. This mark. Do I look like John Wayne? Um, almost. With Bucky. I'm ready for the west of Texas in my Bucky shirt. And okay, like, where are we going through this? this? I don't know. I, I'm like curious. Hey, there's an iPad thing. Is that for ours? iPad smart cover? We don't need it. Ooh. Oh, Mark, there's a holster. All right, well, all right. I'm going to let, I'm going to stop being ridiculous, but. Okay. I'm just, I'm like, I, I get paralyzed. There's so much. I just get, I get paralyzed. All right. All right, we're going to. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to put the camera over here. 
I'll put, put us to music. We'll speed it up a little bit. And I'll show you what we got done when we're done. All right, so I'm gonna stay committed that uh, within the next week or so, I might just pop up on YouTube and run a, this, I'm gonna sell it all, or try to sell these purses in this bin. So there's Coach, there's uh, Lily Pulitzer, there's, what's that, Beer Bradley. So let me know in the comments if uh, just do a real quick pop-up purse sale. Pop-up purses, let me know in the comments. One thing that we're gonna do, we've we've changed direction here a little bit, and we're I'm gonna go up to the front here where the uh, well where all the stuff is, and point out or we're gonna box up the things that I want to save and not take to auction for when we open things that I can reutilize back into the space, and then I cleared off one of the shelves to uh, just to kind of put some of this stuff on. So that's. That's what we're going to tackle at the moment. Before you don't come at me, I'm using these to move some of this inventory in. I will be reusing these boxes, which is what I have to be able to put some of the stuff in before it gets taken to auction. So I'm boxing it up. We're going to box them up in the back and that's just going to be because they're all the same size and they'll, they'll, they'll stack pretty neatly. So that's what we're gonna start doing now. I'm just gonna start putting some stuff in to these boxes and uh, so we can work on getting that stacked up. to have a feeling that this video is just gonna be a mess hang on hang on okay so one thing that I listen I know that there I have this big thing full of different hardware pieces I have a ton more I have a ton more um, I'm gonna look through here if I can pair up then I might save those and I can list those on eBay. Like there's three, there's three of them. But any like random, there's only one of the, wait. Then I'm probably just going to put in a box 
for auction. But uh, we're kind of running out of, out of shelf space, so now that's why we're using the boxes so we can just pack and um, we're just getting them out of the way. So we're keeping the boxes, we're just getting them out of the way uh, so we can um, so we can get the space going. But there's all the stuff here in the middle that we're gonna have to start making space in the back. Let me show you. We have to start making space in the back for some of the bigger pieces. Like there's some trunks and that kind of stuff that I don't want, that I don't want in the space. So it doesn't, it doesn't look much different. I did pull, I did pull some things. These, these are things that I can reincorporate um, in displays, but I'm just kind of adding more things and, and going through this shelf a little bit more too. But my ADHD kicks in and I'm a ping pong ball going to different areas. But uh, Mark's getting, it doesn't look, it doesn't look much different, but it's different. What, when you want to explain what you've done? What did you do, Mark? So I've got all of our personal things that we're keeping for whatever reason. I mean, just, <laughs> just whatever we're keeping. We're not personal. keeping those. No. <laughs> so I've been trying to separate. I've been putting um, uh, post-it notes on it. Yeah. Like here's our little eBay, eBay. section that I've been trying to work on. This is auction stuff this here. Is all auction. Some of these we're going to go through these lamps. It's really dark. I know some of the lamps I'm going to incorporate into the space. Some of them like these are not. Those are all getting taken to auction. Uh, this light fixture is getting being t taken to auction. Um, that is all auction things over there. And then what we're trying to do, what we need to start doing, Mark, so we can clear out that middle area. To start bringing some of the bigger things. I don't know which side. Are we going to put them on this side? We probably need to start condensing, making this area a little bit easier to put things in as well. I need to get that little red card out because I'm going to reuse that. But Okay. All these lamps. My dad had a thing for lamps, apparently. They're cool, but no. No. They all need work and I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not doing that. Those are all gonna go to auction. Alright, that's just the update for now. Doesn't look much different, but Emma's on the way soon, so her her dad'll be ganging up on me here real soon. There she is, Miss Emma, who doesn't want to be on film. But she's here and we're kind of filling her in on everything. We're just kinda overwhelmed. And, um, my ADA, ADHD is in full effect because I keep going from spot to spot to spot to spot to spot. But, what? Attention deficit disorder. Well, I have the hyperactivity part of it as well. Okay. I don't, the only thing I don't like about this tripod, Emma got me this tripod for Christmas. I can never figure out how to get the legs out. You push it. Just pull them out. Oh, there. We did it. Okay. Well, it is it is somewhat hard. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Okay, I have to speak up a little bit because the furnace thing is on. But I wanted to show you something that I came across as I'm going through a bookshelf. I can't remember where this was found. I think Mark had pulled it down from the attic. And you can see, look. Oh, let me clear this. It's in such rough shape. I'm almost scared to even touch it. William A. Webb Dry Goods. That's what this building was. And you can see this is 1898. So that was about when this building was uh, built, when our shop was built. So I need to somehow, gosh, I need to preserve that. February 1988. And you can see the east side, Bedford, Indiana. Specialties, fine dress goods, cloaks, underwear, hosiery, gloves, corsets, embroideries, and laces. Finest table linens, carpet, curtains, etc. Established 13 years at present location. Okay, so this is 1898. There you go. Ask Mark. Mark. This calendar is dated 1898 and it says on the corner 13 years at this present location. It says that right there. 
Right. We th we had thought that the building was built between 1885 and 1895. So it's probably 1885 then. So. It says 13 years. I don't know how we're going to save this. But we need it. I'm going to just lay it right here for right now. But we need a. Yeah. But that's that's pretty cool. You found that up in the attic, right? Yeah. So it doesn't seem like we've gotten anywhere, but we're we're working on it. I'm I'm gonna show you before we leave i will show you but one thing that i think i'm going to do um is certain things like i've got like boxes of ephemera so i think i might make videos where it's just i'm going through the ephemera um i've got box i've got boxes of like jewelry and things and and so i thought maybe that would be something that we could do is like just pull out some things and just go through and sort and organize like all this ephemera right here needs to be organized so again you guys are keeping me accountable so we can get this place organized but all right i'm going to continue to go through these books and um because get this bookshelf out because we're going to utilize that so just going through the books um some of these antique bibles are going to be coming up for sale very soon that's where we're at right now. Well, we put in a full day's work and I, look, can you hear my voice? It's yes. echoing because, okay. So I'm pretty excited because now we, we're not done, but day one, we actually got a lot done for day one. Seriously. Look, all of that stuff that was all right here. We've gone now. The pieces of furniture tomorrow, we're going to work on kind of moving the furniture. Well, we're going to mop the floor and stuff, but we're going to try to get, we're going to dust the furniture. Um, we probably should go and get some wax, furniture wax. We might have some or oil. Um, and we still have to, we still have to work up here. We have to get all that stuff put away. But um, these are the pieces of furniture that I'm going to use for now. If I go to an auction, and I get different pieces of furniture. I might eliminate some, but I got to use what I have right now. We got to get rid of those box springs. Um, so we've got progress. I got Pinky getting Pinky cleaned out because we're going to be using Pinky. You guys remember that heart? You're going to be seeing that again soon. But what we've done is I've consolidated some shelves. I still need to organize the shelves, but I've consolidated. And then we just kind of moved everything that's going to auction back here. Back here, all of these things, all of those light fixtures, all of that stuff. You can see we've kind of labeled auction and then this is all auction stuff. I'm going to use some of these lamps. That's all Halloween. We got our Christmas trees, the aluminum trees up there. I'm keeping that light fixture. Oh, look, we got uh, spears up there. But I feel like we've gotten a lot accomplished. Um, that stuff up there is things that are going to be listed on eBay. That's active eBay listings. This is, I'm going to have a vamp buyer's choice sale. So I think we got, what do you guys think? Are you think we, we're, we've done good? We're, we're ready to go home. We did move, we moved the shelf out cause we're going to utilize that. I'm excited. I think that we got, it was a good dent. Are you excited, Emma? Yeah. I'm so are, are you excited? I am. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little less, a little less, less stress. But now I was telling Mark and Emma, I'm like, boy, I need to go get some stuff to fill the space. Because I want a lot of the stuff that I, and a lot of you might be asking, well, why don't you just use the stuff that you already have, Misty? That's ridiculous. Why are you going to go? Because we've tried selling that stuff before. And it, 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 it isn't what I'm wanting to do with the space. It doesn't excite you. It doesn't excite me. And I just, it, it, it's got to, it's got to go. So I, I'm feeling very encouraged. I am. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Mark. We got a big, big busy day tomorrow, but um, that is episode one, episode one, and I will start filming episode two tomorrow. I don't know how, because these episodes will probably, 
I don't know how I'm often or when I'm going to upload these sorts of things, but when we're here working, I can. And like I told you, I'm gonna be pulling, like I have two tubs of linens. I need to pull those. I need to go through those and decide what's going and what's what's not. So it might be some things like that where you and I are just gonna sit down and we're gonna go through a box or a bin. Um, but on the weekends is when I have help and I can do a little bit more of the physical things, but I'm super excited. I'm feeling pretty good. Now we're going to go home and relax and start tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed if you want to see the progress that's going on. Again, I'm going to remind you again, 50% of y'all are not subscribed. You watch my videos, but yet you're not subscribed. It's free. It's free. So subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. You want to say goodbye, guys? Bye. Bye. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Like a bald head, a man put his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.